Hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. How's it going? Welcome back to the wonderful world of Team Fortress 2, where the teleporters don't matter and keeping a sentry gun up is the most difficult task ever conceived. Yes indeed, in this gameplay, my ultra-awesome original character named Gibbous Gary will be showing you the best strategies of playing Engineer, such as throwing a sentry down in an extremely dumb location, and then proceeding to wander around the map completely aimlessly. The loadout I'm using is composed of the Frontier Apollo Justice, and everything else is fairly stock. Throughout this gameplay, I've become progressively less attached to my own buildings. We had a couple of other hard hats roaming around while trying to play defensively. Me? I just drop a sentry down and go, pfft, guess I'd better go jogging and let this thing get destroyed. Engineer is by far the most stressful class I've ever played in this game, because you put so much effort into constructing all of these crazy gadgets, only for a spy or a demo man to suddenly turn the corner and just destroy everything while you're busy upgrading something or acquiring more metal. I guess it depends on what kind of people you're up against, but knowing that many classes have the potential to ruin everything you create is usually enough demotivation for me. But, even in all of these catastrophic situations I end up enduring, I keep pressing on, building sentries in different areas of the map and being needlessly aggressive against classes that are much more bulky than myself. Engineer is just one of those classes that screams effort to me, more so than any other class which I've played. I will say that it is damn well rewarding to see your efforts pay off, even if your buildings don't last nearly as long as you would have preferred. There's a spirit of perseverance I develop when playing NG, despite how frantic and overwhelming it can become, especially taking into consideration how much effort it takes just to build a simple nest only to have it destroyed over and over again. But even so, we are going to talk a little bit about this value of effort. I suppose you can already tell what the cheesy message I'm about to convey is, and yes, it is very crucial to put even the smallest bit of effort into every little job you're assigned. I'm sure you've done your schoolwork already, so let's move on. The underlying point of this topic involves the production of videos. So at some point, I had developed this insecurity that I was not uploading enough content, so I opted to mass-produce live commentaries. Needless to say, that didn't work out so well, and I burned out rather quickly. Things began to slow down at a reasonable pace around the beginning of March, but I just wasn't feeling motivated to record anything. As you know, this channel primarily serves to host live and post-commentary videos such as this one, where I either ramble or talk about points of interest while playing some video game in the background. Sadly, this routine has grown a bit stale. Metaphorically speaking, there are no standing ovations from the crowd after this performer uses the same song and dance from the previous show. The audience craves variety, and in turn, so does the performer. And that's where this new series of videos named Serious Talks comes into play. Sometime around the middle of March, I began considering a sort of retrospective series for my favorite shooter franchise, Serious Sam. The series was celebrating its 15th anniversary, and I felt like making something... commemorative, I suppose you could say. So I set to work, started out by typing out a very large script to cover the first game in the series, recorded said whole game, spliced up the footage in the audio, yada yada yada, and I was just completely focused on this. I dedicated roughly one and a half weeks to produce this video. Well, not every waking hour of those one and a half weeks, but I'm sure you get the idea. To be honest, I wasn't expecting the end product to be very popular, but I was rather surprised to see that it accumulated a fairly large amount of attention. And I think you could work the numbers from here. I put actual effort into making a video. There's kind of a tier system with the amount of effort I've dedicated to making a single video. The lowest amount of effort is put into making simple live commentaries, where I hit the record button and I just kind of ramble while playing some game in the background. That's tier number one. Tier number two is where I create post commentaries, specifically for Team Fortress 2, where I pick a subject to talk about, but I've also given myself an outline or a script to work with. On the occasion, I'll just ramble over a lengthy gameplay, but I think it all kind of fits in the same category. This video is an example of a second tier effort. And finally, there's tier number three, where I'll spend a solid number of days, sometimes weeks, to prepare a large video. In this example, we have the Serious Talks videos. Dedicating myself to making one of these is very time-consuming, and often doesn't leave me much room to produce other videos without forcing a delay on what I'm currently focused on. And I hope I'm not coming across as a negative person over this, I equally enjoy making all three types of these videos. But, like most humans, I crave variety, and I'm convinced that my viewers would react the same. So the lesson I've learned about video production is crystal clear. Making the exact same type of video over and over again results in total monotony. 
and it serves to only further demotivate me to do anything. I think that's why I often have difficulty balancing between TF2 videos and a playthrough of an entirely different video game. Going back to that metaphor from earlier, it's kind of like changing a mask, but it still boils down to being the exact same act. So, what am I proposing here? Well, I doubt everyone has seen my previous talks video, and I understand if it's not your preference, but here's the scene. I'm not content with just up and ending this series after covering a single franchise. There are many other games that I'd love to review in the near future. I seriously devoted my time and effort into producing just one video at a time, and this change seems to have attracted more attention than I could have imagined. Thusly, Serious Talks will be an ongoing series in the future, and I already have my sights set on covering another game. Thinking about it, this might create a good balance. I will be uploading less frequently, but I will still try to do my best to keep every new video fresh and interesting. Hell, I still left a couple of important videos on hold. I practically forgot that I was in the middle of a playthrough of a game that's... not very great. <laughs> I do have two remaining loadout requests for Team Fortress 2, just begging to be tested, so I'd better go get started on that, actually. But before this video ends, I am going to shamelessly promote my Serious Tux video right here. In the event where you catch some spare time, I'd encourage you to take a look at one of them. They're fairly lengthy though, so if you find my voice that grating, I don't blame you for quitting around 5 minutes in. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this commentary, so thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day or evening. Open tasty.